So the very big question that I know that everyone has right now is, should I pick up, uproot my life from where I'm living at the moment and move to Tyler, Texas? Well, the answer to that question is, it depends. Now, I know that's a very, very politician answer, but I promise you, if you stick with me, I will dive into this a little bit deeper and explain my thoughts a little bit more. Let me explain to you what I mean right after this. Howdy, howdy everyone, and welcome back to the channel. For everyone new here, my name is Ronnie Withers, and if you wanna know what it's like to live, eat, sleep, work, and play, play in Tyler, Texas and the surrounding areas, then just go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you are the first to be notified on any single Tyler, Texas market update. My team and I are getting calls every single day of people just like you who are looking to either relocate to Tyler, move within Tyler or sell their Tyler home. So if that does sound like you, please reach out to us. Go ahead, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We will get together, we will hop on a phone call and we will get you into your dream Tyler home. So that may have been a bit of an overstatement what I said at the start. Not everyone is asking me that question. Tyler is a little bit of a niche area. And if you're watching this video, welcome to the niche. But a lot of people are asking me that. I get emails, phone calls, texts every day of people asking me a lot of questions about Tyler. Is Tyler still a good place to move to? Should I uproot my life? Should I move to Tyler? Should I do this? Should I do that? What's Tyler like? And the short story is, I can't tell you exactly what to do. This is your life, you gotta live it. But what I can do is I can help you with some of the information that could benefit or dissuade you from moving to Tyler. So that is my job, that is what I can do for you. I can't make the decision for you. I can't be the magical decision fairy because I. Oh, the last thing I want is in a year's time, if you don't like Tyler, to be coming down on me saying, Ronnie, why did you get me to move to Tyler? I absolutely hate it here, it's horrible. I've never had anyone tell me that, but it's the first time for everything. Like I say in a lot of my videos, Tyler, I absolutely love it. You're either gonna love Tyler or you're not gonna like it so much. Obviously, I'm a real estate agent here, I live here, I make videos. This channel is specifically about living in Tyler, so I don't mind it too much. So to answer the question, is Tyler still a good place to move to in 2024? I'm gonna break down a few different categories and kind of just explain my thoughts in what's the area looking like? What's growth looking like? What's what are things looking like? Is it still a good place? And I will leave it up to you to make your own decisions about whether you do want to move to Tyler or not. Firstly, we're gonna have some of the things that do not change. There are certain things about Tyler and East Texas that are gonna stay the same pretty much year through year. So you're not gonna have to worry about these things changing. So to start with, we're gonna be talking about the beauty. East Texas, piney hills, Pine Curtain, East Texas, absolutely beautiful. We have a lot of pine trees, a lot of green areas, a lot of just green, wide open space. You get beautiful sunsets. We have loads of different lakes. It is an outdoorsman paradise. We don't have the huge mountains. We don't have things where you can ski. We don't have beaches. But if you're a hiker, if you're, if you like just exploring, you like going to the lake, water sports, skiing, water skiing, not normal skiing, water skiing, fishing. We have it here in East Texas. East Texas is an absolutely beautiful space. Tyler, right in the heart of East Texas. So beauty, it's not really gonna change. So that's one of the kind of pros about living in Tyler or moving to Tyler is you are gonna be very, very close to, if not surrounded by natural beauty. So. Beauty, absolutely a great reason to move to Tyler. That's not gonna change. So that's kind of at the top of my list. Just keep in mind, East Texas, Tyler, absolutely beautiful area. One of the other things about moving to Tyler is the culture and the history. So Tyler actually has quite a bit of history. Just look at the old brick streets that you have in the historic Azalea District, Brick Streets District. I've done a video about different neighborhoods in Tyler. I'll link it around here, but I've shown some of the older neighborhoods and just shown that Tyler does have some nice history to it. I'm not gonna explain it all right here. You can look it up and I'll leave a link to the description to look at some, some of the history. But you go around, you see the old brick streets, you see some old houses. Tyler, it's a, it's a really interesting town if you, if you dive into it. So that's always a very good thing. And the culture as well. Some people consider it the South, the deep South, Tyler, East Texas. Some people consider it the West. Some people kind of consider it a blurred lines area. Whatever you call it, people in general are really, really nice. You get that Southern charm here in Tyler. So in general, people are gonna be really, really friendly, really wanna help you. And it's just a pleasure to be around people in general, unless they get in their cars, mind you. You get a little uh, 80 year old grandma who's like the absolutely nicest woman in the world. Get her into a big Ford F, 
350 and she turns into an absolute velociraptor on the roads, flipping people off, weaving in and out of people. That's just Tyler drivers for you. So that's also another point. The drivers, not the best. So if, if you're really not gonna wanna live in a place where driving is an issue and you have really bad drivers, then just cross Tyler off the list because Tyler has some bad drivers. A lot of other places do as well. Tyler, some bad drivers. But in general, the culture, the people, really nice and a l just it's a really friendly place to be. And that isn't gonna be changing anytime soon. So if that's on your list, you want some friendly people, keep looking at Tyler. Now it is no secret that Tyler is growing and that can be a good and a bad thing. A lot of people tell me, a lot of people who have lived in Tyler their whole lives, their whole family have lived in Tyler, they remember when Tyler was, Tyler was the huge town with maybe 50,000 people. At the moment it's sitting around 120 and growing. But people tell me, they remember when Tyler was a, a their big town because they used to live in all the surrounding areas and Tyler was about 50,000 people. And now a lot of people who have been here a while think that Tyler is way overgrown. There are already too many people here. It's it's getting ridiculous. The traffic is ridiculous and it's just too big. On the other hand, if you compare Tyler to bigger cities like Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, then Tyler's nothing yet. It definitely is growing. It's a growing community and with that brings new businesses. It brings new thoughts and people to the area, transplants. You're bringing new things to do, which some people complain Tyler is lacking in. You bring different people with different likes and desires and hobbies to start different groups and develop a bit more of a community. So there are good and bad things about growth in Tyler. Now, Tyler is kind of growing south around by Flint and Bullard is kind of growing out that way. So at the moment, could be a really good time to end up moving to Tyler because it is not, in my opinion, it is not overly saturated yet and there's still a lot of room for growth. Now, the infrastructure of Tyler is only built for a certain amount of people. So unless we're gonna be starting building new highways, which is actually happening, or overpasses and things like that, Tyler can't get too big, but we're not at that stage yet. So now is still a really good time to move to Tyler and the surrounding areas because it's not too big yet, but I imagine going off the growth of other bigger cities in Texas, that Tyler is only gonna get busier. There's no stopping that, whether you like it or not, Tyler, there are gonna be people moving here for the next couple of years and it is gonna grow exponentially. Nothing I can do to stop that. I'm just trying to give you the information. So it's a really good time to move to Tyler. I still feel like it's kind of a bit of a hidden gem. So now could be a really good time to move. Now I did briefly mention in what I just said about a community. Now that is one of the biggest complaints I hear from people who have moved to Tyler, who haven't been living here their whole life, is that it's really hard to find a community, especially if you haven't found if you haven't found an inn with a certain church yet, because most people in Tyler are very religious. If you haven't found an inn with a church, it can be really hard to find community, which I can't say that I can't see. I definitely can see that. However, in my opinion, I believe that if you try hard enough, if you go out to meetings, if you go to if you go to church, you need to you try and find a community. Find a hobby that you like and go in and find like-minded people that way. There's pretty much a community for everyone. It's just a little bit harder to find that initially because it is a little bit clicky here in Tyler. The people who have lived there that here their whole life are kind of friends with people who have lived there their whole life. So it is a little bit harder, but it definitely can be done. It's not impossible. That is just something that people complain about a little bit. So keep that in mind. However, also due to my last point that Tyler's growing so much is you have a lot of people from outside of Texas and outside of Tyler moving here. So it's not uncommon to speak to your next door neighbor and they're from the area you just moved to. A lot of Californians moving here, a lot of people from Illinois, a lot of people from Colorado, a lot of people from Washington State. And that's just what I can remember at the moment. So there is there are a couple neighborhoods where pretty much everyone is from California. Now I know there's pros and cons of that, but community wise, you will find some people who align with your values, align with your views, and that you can be friends with. Even me, when I started making these videos over a year ago, I've had several English people who live in the area call me up and just say hi. So never expected that, but there is community to be found here in Tyler, just it is a little bit harder to find. So one thing that is true, I'd say it's the biggest thing about Tyler and the huge drawing point for a lot of people. And it, it remains true now, it remained true years ago, and I believe it will remain true in the future, is that Tyler is just a really nice, peaceful place to settle down. If you are ready to do that, if you're ready to settle down, you're ready to buy a house, you're ready to, whether that be whether you're in your early 20s, whether that be when you're retirement age, if you do want to settle down, you want a place that's a small, big city that has enough things to do, 
where if you want something bigger, you can drive into Dallas. If you, you just wanna be surrounded by friendly people, you want a, a relatively low cost of living, then Tyler is the place for you, that, that really is. So if you are looking for a place like that, I've looked at a lot of places, Tyler, in my opinion, through my research, is the best place I've found if you do want to settle down. It's not the most exciting place in the world where you have things happening every day and you have big clubs and you have nightclubs and you have parties and you have different loads of different scenes and loads of young people and Tyler isn't that exciting but because it's not so exciting is the reason a lot of people love it so if you're like that and I hope you know what I mean when I'm talking about the kind of lack of excitingness that's a really good thing for a lot of people just want a nice quiet life to raise a family a nice area with nice people great schools Tyler just is a really great place. And to go along with that, on the other side, Tyler may not be the best place to move to if you are not ready to, to settle down. If you're potentially a young single person, a lot of complaints I get, young single people, there are some things to do, but it's kind of that small town that you see in a Hallmark movie where when you're young, you really don't like it because there's not too much to do. So you up and leave, you go to a big city, you find a husband or a wife, you start having kids and then you realize, oh, the big city life isn't for me, so I'm gonna move back to my hometown. This is the hometown. So if you're a young single person, Tyler potentially isn't the place for you unless you absolutely love it, then all power to you. But young single people, people who aren't ready to settle down, who want a bit more excitement, it's probably not the best place to up and root your life and move to Tyler because you probably won't like it. I'm not saying that Tyler's for everyone, but those are kind of the two camps of people that would be good for families, people ready to settle down, wouldn't be good for young single people not really ready to settle down. Now let me touch on cost of living just really briefly because cost of living in general is really, really good and is still really, really good. Everything in the world is getting more expensive and that is similar to Tyler, but compared to a lot of the places in the country, Tyler is still a really, really good place to live cost of living wise. I think I just filled the car up with gas a couple days ago and I think it was 2.33 a gallon, which is really good compared to some of the, I don't know what the average is in the, in the country at the moment, but compared to places like Illinois, where it's in the kind of in the threes or slightly lower, it's gas prices are really good. And then we have the average cost of a home within the last three months, the average sold price is $371,000, which is getting up there compared to what it was a couple years ago, but compared to the national average or compared to some of the bigger cities, some of the more expensive areas, 371 as an average, home cost isn't too bad. So uh, along with those low prices, low gas, relatively low home prices, low grocery costs, the one area on the other side that we make up for that is our relatively high property taxes. A lot of states out there have property taxes in the 0.5% up to 1%. Now in Texas in general, and in Tyler is no different, it's gonna be usually somewhere between two and 3%, sometimes even higher than 3%. So that's kind of where we do make up on paying a little bit extra to property taxes, but obviously we don't have any state income tax here in Texas. So it, it does work out less expensive in general to be living in Texas and Tyler than somewhere else. So just keep that in mind. Where are you living at the moment? Look at all the taxes that you have to pay and then potentially compare them to Tyler and see which one would be less expensive to live in. And the last point I'm going to make in relation to why it potentially is a good reason to move to Tyler in 2024 is that there's a lot of exciting plans in the making for Tyler. One of the main ones is that the historic downtown, which we have at the moment, it's not bad, but the government have just approved plans to completely revitalize the downtown. And they're gonna be building a lot of things in there. And I'll put some photos up around here of what the plans are to look like. But they're putting a lot of money into completely redoing the downtown, which is hopefully gonna bring some more businesses, a lot more eyes on Tyler. So that's why I'm kind of saying, we're kind of a diamond in the rough at the moment. But once the downtown has been done, new businesses, new revenue, and just a lot of exciting plans are to happen in Tyler in the next year or so. So I'm excited. I think Tyler, I think it already is an amazing place to live, but I think it's going to turn into and continue to turn into an absolutely amazing place to live for a lot of people. So I really do want to know what you think. Please, if you're looking at moving to Tyler, whether it be nine days or 90 days, please reach out, call, text or email. Just let me know. Like I said, we'll get on a call and we'll get you into your dream Tyler home. Let me know your thoughts. Leave them in the comment box below. What is stopping you right now from moving to Tyler? Would you ever move to Tyler? And if you are currently living in Tyler, what do you think about the things I just said? Love it, hate it, disagree with me. I'm always down for a discussion in the comments. But thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. Please like the video if you did like the video. Like I said, my name's Ronnie Withers and until next time, cheerio.